What's up you guys, it's Kevin back here with a brand new sourcing video. Today we're going to be heading into Goodwill. Uh, I usually don't film in there, hopefully I can get some footage. Uh, Ross Marshalls and uh, that's about it. Uh, as well as Burlington. So yeah. For those who don't know me, my name is Kevin. I'm a part-time, soon to be full-time reseller. I mostly sell on eBay and Amazon and um, I go into stores. I mostly look for shoes and clothing to resell on my eBay and Amazon uh, account. So yeah. Listen to Goodwill and see what they have. They got some sort of uh, New Balance fresh ones here. All the shoes um, are sixty dollars, so these don't look too bad. But uh, I'm not gonna pick them up. Got these Nike, I uh, believe, Tajans. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Oh my God! Look at that. Jeez. Got some Nike Zoom Paces 33s. Extremely dirty, and that's a big problem right there. Damn! Somebody's dog chewed that or something. Got these cheeks. Whatever the heck that is. Uh, these Mizunos, they don't look too bad, but I picked up picked up some Mizunos and they haven't sold yet, so. Oh my, you got these huge new balances. They look okay, actually. Not dirty at all, but a size 14. Wow, that's crazy. I don't think I'm looking these up either. Got some more Nikes here. I'm pretty sure these are for kill shots. What? What is that? Eric Costin? We gonna look these up. These look uh, interesting. Um, got these Adidas cleats. The only two listings and uh, no comps. Um, but I'm gonna think about it. And they got these New Balance here. It's made in the USA. Um, I don't know why this tag is almost off, but these look like they're in really great condition. They're my size. I probably keep them because they're only six dollars here. So I'm gonna look these up or we'll attempt to because. The tag is messed up. I got these Saucony's here. They look okay. These two. I've really only picked up Nike shoes and shoes that I know. Oh my god, another one. Another New Balance. But these are worse condition than the other ones. And um, got these Asics here. Look, look like they're in pretty good condition too. I'm more interested in these. So for these black New Balances, um, they look to, look to be selling for around $40 and up for pre-owned and the comps sell the rate i mean is pretty good as well and um i think i'm gonna get these two i can get these cleaned up you know tread and everything is great oh my god look at that hair but no nothing we can't fix these so i'm gonna get these these are size 13 and those nike sb uh, eric keaton shoes yeah i'm gonna end up passing on these because uh they seem to be separating here it's even worse on the other shoe, like right, right there. So yeah, never mind. They look good, but I'll pass. I'm gonna just buy the New Balances, and we out here going to go next to the next little Ross. Got a flood of these Okitos. Forty. Three pairs. Got these Predators here for twenty-seven dollars. Got these interesting looking Janowskis here. You look weird, definitely gotta look them up. These don't have a Nike tag on them, they just have this. And um, there's not much, but since there's like five pairs, I'm gonna just leave bother worry about looking them up. Got these Timberland shoes, $40. We can give them a look. Ooh. Looks like there's only three results, or like five. Comps are three, um, but these are brand new. They're forty dollars here. Size um nine and a half, so mm, probably worth it. But I think I'm gonna pass on them. I don't know. I'll think about it. Most likely not. All these golf that are everywhere. Give me the t uh, the fast fit ones. I'll take them any day. Doctor Show Airs, twenty dollars. These cleats. They're huge, weird color. There's two of them. These Stephen Curry's, 45. I'm gonna look them up. Um, what are these Addy Zeros? Yeah, these Addy Zeros here for huge size, $37. Um, yeah, no thanks. So I did end up looking these, these ugly shoes up, and they look like they're selling pretty good. Not gonna lie. Uh, I got size 12 here and a size 11 and a half. Um, Comps looking pretty good. Baseball season is here, I think. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on that, but the comps looking great. They're only $13 here at Ross. 
definitely copy. These curries don't seem to be doing that good. So I'm gonna leave a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> These DK New York Air Maxes. DK Maxes. On clearance for $22. Nike slides for $20. Retail $30. And that's about it. And this track spice in the women's section. Kids section looking pretty packed here, but it doesn't look like they have the good shoes, just like regular Reeboks, Adidas, Nike cleats, Champion. Well, baseball cleats for 15. Oh, these are coming up everywhere. $38. Shout out to my boy Antonio. He told me to drop these. Well, he told me he's not picking them up. I was gonna pick them up, and um, glad I listened to him because it ended up being a flood. Um, but. There's these $18 Fila boots, little kid. Oh, these are bronze, $57. Black and white colorway, three and a half. Kid section looked promising from afar, but nothing. Got this cool little Levi's shirt. $8, I believe, or $9. Looks like a, looks like a really old Nike jacket here at Ross. Oh, it doesn't have a tagger. Has a Ross tag, but not like the Nike tag. That's weird. Cool Atlanta Hawks long sleeve here. $15. Dita's jersey, Toronto. This Under Armour golf polo here for $17. Sales drink is insane. We can sell it new. And there's only one other seller, but it's uh, fulfilled by Merchant. But we're going to be selling this baby FBA, so we're going to be selling this quick for $55. Uh, making a quick like $10, $15 profit. Probably more, but that's just being conservative. Got this Nike Golf Polo for 20. No listings on eBay. I mean, <laughs> no listings on Amazon. Great sales rank. Uh, we got two here. We can make about 10 to 15 bucks profit easily. And then for these, uh, we found another one of these. Hopefully, it's the same as the other one. But we'll. S Never mind. Amazon is on this one, so I'm not gonna get it. Uh, the other one, Amazon is not on, so I'm definitely gonna pick that one up. It should sell fairly quick. Since doing having a lot of these big, huge men's NBA sweatpants here, like just huge for twenty dollars. I'm gonna look them up, see. But actually, th I think somebody from Instagram posted this and they left them here. Got this cool Sacramento Kings women's long sleeve, like compression thingy, thirteen dollars. No info on eBay or anything. I'm gonna leave it behind though, cause it's a winner. I got this cool Nike court skirt. Extra small though, not good. Hopefully it comes up on um, Amazon. And the sales rank is good. If not, then it's getting left. Yeah, it does come up, but no sales rank. So, let's um, see on eBay if anything's good here. And yeah, it is on eBay, but only like $40 and only one comp. And that's a medium so I'm gonna skip because it's too small here at this Marshalls they got those uh shocks again those are max axes too how about these shocks only two pairs here size eight and a half and yeah if you, you want to hold these you know it's okay you can but I don't want to tie up my capital like that at the moment and then you got these huge LeBron soldier promos these were any other size I'd definitely pick them up $60 um, I'm gonna look I'm not no, I'm not gonna look these up size 16 it's gonna take too long to move but I found a couple of these different colorways and they always seem to sell them with the box seems to be a better deal well they got these GS Donovan Mitchells here I guess these are the Venom ones $30 yeah one two three four five six six pairs all seem to be different sizes I'm gonna look them up I mean these look great you know they look promising um, I'm gonna see if they're worth anything though. Man, these do look cool, but it looks like they are showing up at other stores. <sighs> Man, that sucks. Isn't there's only two comps? Well, uh, that's just... I don't know what I should do here. Nah, man. Th for $30? Hmm. Maybe I should just take the big sizes, the size 7. Just two pairs. But, no, at the same time, you know... 
people have them for like eighty dollars. Some people have them high. Yeah, see, some people have them high, and then some people have them low. Let's see. Low is sixty-five dollars. The comps don't seem to be here either, so I'm gonna leave them. Some some other reseller can have them. Yeah, so that Marshalls didn't have uh, anything like worth picking up. They had some good shoes. They had some Alpha Dunks. They had those LeBrons. They had those um those uh Donovan Mitchells. Oh, which was great. Like I, I wanted to pick them up, but you know the comps weren't there. You know sometimes the shoe can look good. You think it's gonna be selling good, and and it's not selling good. Um, but yeah, Marshalls is picking up, but eh, no shoes for resale for my margins. You know my business model. So. No, on to the next uh, store. Here at Burlington, they got these weird looking feeblers here. Disgusting. Got some Echoes, True Religions, 25. More of those ugly feeblers. More of these low end merc mercurials, I think. $20. No thanks. Oh, they loaded up with the fake cracks. They got the real cracks right next to the fake cracks. And then they, they these aren't even like the original cracks, bro. That's just. Disrespectful. Burlington, you should do better. The 4Ds? No, the ponies. Oh, they got the loafers, bro. Burlington, please step it up. Got these vapor cleats. Lacrosse. No price tag. I might look them up. Oh, they're ten dollars here. Um, it's only two listings as new, and there's no comp, so I think I'm gonna leave them. Got these Skechers. Line it. 35 these look interesting $25 I have no idea what these are called react gato react gatos I've seen some gatos before or gatos uh, so probably some promise here but the only thing bad about it is the size size seven and a half it can convert to a women's nine yeah these this can go pass out as women's soccer shoes um, they're twenty-five dollars here in Burlington. They look promising. How many listings though? Eighty-four. Hmm. Seventy. Sixty-five. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick these up. Size nine seems to be selling the best, but you can probably pass these off as a women's. Yeah, they look pretty good. One, only one comp for seven and a half. Let's see how many listings? Only two. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get them. You know, not not much to lose here. Just waiting probably a month or. Two. Couple of months probably to sell them. Got some USA soccer jerseys or shirts. Um, I only sell these on Amazon and uh, no rank. Um, sales seems to be this. Um, the selling price seems to be five dollars less than the retail price, which would be good if if um, it was ranked. But this isn't ranked, so I'm not gonna pick it up. What is this? This one's twenty-five. Let's see if it's worth anything. No, it's not selling. Look at that rank. Horrible. And uh, that price too. These aren't Nike, so I don't care for them. Michael Kors, no. Oh, I forgot to check this section. <laughs> Almost missed it, but. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting here either. This is like a sweatshirt. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I've seen this one before. So I'm gonna look it up. See if it's worth anything on Amazon. Retail price is 50, so. Let's hope it has a good rank and it's going for 50. <laughs> no, it's not. So, this looks like a good personal cop, though, if anybody like this style. USA. I'd probably get it if, um. Oh, there is a large. No, I'm capping. I wouldn't get this. Um. Uh, for $20. Um, it's a good price. It's just, um. Nah. Got these cool Nike shorts here. Retail is 40 They're here for 17 Oh, no, not 40 35 These look. Pretty cool, and these look pretty. And they don't look that good. These look better, but to reach on these is 40 and 17. I'm not gonna look these up. Uh, well, I looked them up on Amazon, they didn't come up, but we're definitely gonna cop these baseball um, sliding shorts 45 on Amazon, and they only cost ten dollars here. So it's great. I picked these up before, but they were black, and I think I did. I picked up some in my last sourcing trip. Um, pretty good little profit here. Probably like 20, 25 bucks here. Here at the kid section, they got these weird looking sketchers. These are zone freaks or whatever. $40. Uh, these missed tagged. I was just looking at them. <laughs> these Air 27 React should be like 30 or $40. But Bud 10's like, nah, bro, give us 70 Um, 
Yeah, they smoking something. Oh, but they got these cool looking tennis shoes here. Nike Quartz. $40, size 6. I think these are women's. Or these are youth. Yeah, 6Y. So they'll be to like a 7th women. But I think I'll pass. I think I've seen these here and I looked them up before. That's the only reason they're here. Just gonna look at the kids' clothes, see if I can get any of those golf poles I picked up last time as well. Oh, I didn't come to this side. <laughs> Four more pairs of those, um, Zoom Freaks. Um, some Air Max, whatever the heck these are. They're $40. Some more Tailwinds, different colorway. And, uh, these tie-dye, $40. Well, these look interesting, but, nah. Not even good enough uh, for me to look up. We got this um, Madrid Home Soccer uh, t-shirt jersey. It's a polo, retail 75. It has a rank on Amazon, 1,300,000K. Um, I would get it if it was under 100 million. I mean, 1 million, $20 here. Um, pretty cool looking jersey though. We got the little kid Jordan drip here, $15 for this shirt. Retail is 40. Pretty cool, pretty cool, but you know, they're not selling. We're looking for some golf polos here. Like one of these. Retail 35. $8, baby. It doesn't come up on Amazon. That's okay, but we're looking for some other polos as well. And see if they have anything. <clears throat> anything else here. I'll show you guys. Like this polo shirt right here. 35 retail. $8 shirt, Burlington. No listings on Amazon. Great rank. Under 1 million. So it's good for me. And yeah, it's just probably about 10, like 10 or 15 bucks on this. It's pretty cool. Oh, they didn't have any more polos I was looking for at uh, the kids section. So this is all we might get today here at the women's section. Um, looking at the shoes. Got these $25 USA flag converse. <clears throat> Doubt there's anything here for me to shop. DK New York. $40. DK New York. Adidas. Running, whatever the heck that is over there. Yo, what is this? Looks disgusting. Then you toss that out. Nobody's gonna buy that. He's running step back. Look pretty cool. 35. I haven't looked them up yet. Yeah, these are appearing everywhere. These quests, too. Nike quests. But these Metcons, man, they're small size. They, I think they appeared at Ross. Flying it forty dollars retail one fifty. Um, so, but when I looked them up, I think they were uh, they weren't doing that well. So yeah, you see these listings here. But all of them, oh, oh there's one brand new. Yeah, sell through rate is decent, but we got a small size. Hopefully they're on Amazon. Yeah, they are. Let's see how much we can make if they sell. They have a really good rank and everything. 15 bucks. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass on them. He's holding a step back size 9. Seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, 10k rank. They're here for 35. So, I'm gonna see how much I estimated profit. 32. Mm. Size 9. Let's see. Let's scan the other sizes. Yeah, only certain sizes are doing good. So, I'm probably just gonna get the 9. The size 9s and the size 12. Unless they have other sizes, let's see. Yeah, like the size 9s only selling for like 80. Which would probably still be good. Yeah, it's still not that bad. But, you know, we're just gonna cut certain sizes then. They're everywhere. About to head into our favorite store. Well, it's the only thing at this Ross in the men's section are these Janowskis. 40. Selling on eBay for like 100 with the box, but without the box. It's only like $80. Um, some will pass on those. $33. Provision. Women's section sucked at this Ross. We scanned this white shirt right here, long sleeve. 89k ranked. There's only a merchant for photo order, so we should sell this on FBA pretty quickly. Um, $10. We can sell that for like $40, I believe. $5 over the retail, so it should be cool low. 20 bucks, maybe less or more profit. Got this cool Adidas long sleeve. $9.99. Retail 85. It's like a jacket or something. Pretty cool. Cool price too. DC United. Pretty cool too. 19. Couldn't find anything on it though, so I'm not gonna take it. Probably San Antonio Quakes jacket. Seems to be selling on eBay, so I'm gonna take it. 
I just needed a little sign of life. Only ten dollars, crazy. Two of them. And I'm gonna take this long sleeve and have to look this shirt up. So this Technit Ultra Dry Fit shirt. Tier at Ross for 13. Retail is 70. People are letting it go. Or listed for 35. See how many comps they have. 10, 39, 45. But there's something over here that caught my attention to is $15 um, long sleeve Hawks Nike NBA. Nothing on eBay, but I'm gonna hold off on it. My look this up probably doesn't even exist on Amazon. SC Columbus. No Adidas tags so on them. Can't look it up. Got this New York City Football Club 120 retail. Scan it on Amazon. Pretty cool, high quality Adidas hoodie. Like, oh, this thing is thick. You know what I'm saying? But someone ripped off the tag or something happened. I'm gonna take it up um, to the cash register, see how much it costs. And then you got these cool little Minnesota Timberwolves polo, NBA Nike, $11.99. Um, I don't know anything about it, um, so I'm gonna look it up. So nothing on this New York City Football Club jersey. Well, there's a list on Amazon, but it's not ranked, so that's not good to pick up. And I'm gonna look up this polo right here. <laughs> of course, no listings and no comp, so yeah, no thanks. More of these huge NBA um, pants. Well, these aren't that, that big. The other ones are like 3X. <clears throat> These are only X, X, but they're still huge, so that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Maybe there was an XL, most definitely, but not so many XL. Hmm, I'm tempted. Found some more of these Nike Golf polos. They have the black ones too. Um, there's no listings on Amazon, so I'm gonna grab them. Oh, I'm gonna check this Under Armour one too, but got 2XL and 3XL. The red one too. I hope I'm not making a <laughs> bad buy here because this is a lot, but we'll just see what happens. Took the good colors either way. But this cool Adidas uh, Worldwide Hoops crew neck here. $11 for us. Retail 55 I think I'm gonna take it. Um, wait for it to sell on eBay. It's a pretty cool sweatshirt and it's only $11. Never mind, there's another one. Jesus. This is Adidas Golf Women's Tank Top. Retail 60, 13 here. No listing on Amazon. I think the rank is like 60K. And then we got like a whole bunch of polos and the stuff I showed you before. Yeah, so I'm gonna end up leaving this. I'm more focusing on sending stuff into Amazon. So, like I said earlier, clothing, I looked for the high retail price, something I can get a little bit more for. And this doesn't fit it. So, it's gonna take all this other stuff. All right, you guys. So. Um, from this sourcing trip, um, I'm gonna let you guys know. So these, the ones that I looked up in the video were these size 12 and they're not the metal ones. The other ones were metal and I don't think they're the same shoe. Um, so we're, yeah, they're not the same shoe. They don't have the same, I mean, they're the same colorway. They just, they just don't have the same style code, but I'm gonna look these up and see if they're still worth it. Um, we spent a hefty amount, oh shoot. We spent a hefty amount of money on clothes for Amazon FBA. So we just got like three pairs of shoes to sell for the eBay reselling business. And then we had those hardened step bags. We had one, two, three, four pairs of them. Hopefully the prices in tank on Amazon probably get around like 20 to $25 in profit by the time you know the prices go down, I send them in and you know, stuff like that happens. Hopefully I get more because estimated, you know, it'd make like $32, but I always go down a little bit because people undercut the market on Amazon a lot. So, yeah, um, then we got these clothes here from Burlington. We had a polo, kids polo, and some baseball sliding shorts. We had some um, polos from Ross that we're going to be sending into Amazon. Bought them for 20 sending them for $55. we are making like $10, I think, the max profit for each shirt. But these shirts are going to sell quick because they're... They have a very good rank on Amazon, so they should be gone in about a week um, or less, hopefully. Two weeks at the max, I say, with the clothes that I bought um, because they just they just had really good sales rank. And then we had these New Balance U's made in the USA. If these were my size, I'd probably keep them, though. Like, they're nice. Like, I've never owned a pair of New Balances. I'd like to own uh, made in USA ones. 
but these were size 13 and the wide really wide so they didn't fit me you know a whole bunch of clothes we we spent the most money on clothes and the least amount on shoes oh wait actually i gotta look up the the shoe see if it's any different mm, wow so these these are selling equally as good as the other ones which is insane um well let's see the comps four results probably get 60 for them oh no that's like yeah like i'm gonna price them at like 90 because that's you know i'll probably take an offer on them they're only 13 dollars, so that's a great pickup as well even though they're not the same shoe they're the same colorway so yeah so that's gonna conclude this sourcing video you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and like and subscribe it only takes two seconds and it greatly helps out the channel thanks for watching till the very end i appreciate you and i hope you have a wonderful day or night or whenever you're watching this and i'll see you in my next video